Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I will discuss how you can process your digital elevation model which is DEM file in ArcGIS before using that in your hydrologic or hydrodynamic model. You may have to use some basic tools in ArcGIS. I will show you step by step how you can do this. First of all, here you can see I have two DEM file here and I have an area polygon here. So I will uh, process the extent of this area. Before that, first of all, I will go to search. Then I will write mosaic to new raster. I will click OK, go to this option, then give input rasters here. Set an output location. For example, I will select this uh, file, which is named as files. Click add, give a name. I will give mosaic dot if you must give the extension dot if here, otherwise it will show error. I'll give the pixel type as 32 bit uh, float, say uh, number of bands as one. You can see what does it mean by different types of pixel type or anything else in this window. Okay. So I have given uh, all this and keep the other options as it is. I select OK. What it will do, it will uh, mosaic the two tiles in a single tile. If the tool is uh, simulated, you can see what has happened. Now, if I unmark this, here you can see that the two tiles uh, has been merged in a single tile. Okay. Now, I will go to Project Raster option. Click on Project Raster Data Management. Then I will give Input Raster as Mosaic, Output Raster Dataset. Uh, here, you have to create a new file and Geo Database. I have already created it. You can create it by uh, clicking uh, in this uh, option or logo. After that, double click on it, give a name. I will give a name project raster. Keep in mind that don't give any space in between these words. You can give underscore or keep it like this. If you give space, it, will, it can show error. Then I will click save. I will give the output coordinate system as uh, this one, okay? Here you can see the properties here. So what I am trying to do, if I go to the properties, by right click on it and properties option of, of this mosaic. Here you can see the cell size and something like that. And the special reference is something like that or anything like that, okay? I'm trying to change uh, the raster to a new output coordinate system. Okay, so that's why I am using the project raster tool. You can change any kind of coordinate system based on your study area or your project. I will, for this example or tutorial, I am changing it to this one. Then I will give the cell size as 30 by 30 and click on okay. I'll keep the other options as it is. Wait for some time, uh, so the option is finished. So the simulation is finished. If I go to this file uh, properties, here you can see the cell size is 30 by 30. Uh, the special reference is something like that. Linear in it is meter. Sometimes you may need to uh, change the meter to feet. So for that, you have to write raster calculator, go to raster calculator option, double click on project raster, give the multiply sign, and then use the conversion uh, unit from meter to feet and save it in a output raster. 
and click on OK. Then you can change the option from meter to feet. Okay. But for this tutorial, I am keeping it as it is. Now, I will go to buffer option. Write buffer, go to buffer analysis, give input features as area polygon, save it in uh, this location, write buffer area. Click save, give a linear unit. For example, in this tutorial, I am giving linear unit as 50 meter. Then click on OK. Wait for some time. So it is finished. What I have done here, if I change the color, you can move upward and downward. Just click here and then just take it upward and downward. Okay. So if I check here, here you can see that our polygon of area has been buffered by 50 meter, which is buffer area. You can change um, the buffer from 50 to 100 meter or anything else based on your study. Now I will write mosaic, I'm sorry, extract by mask. I'll go to this option, give the input feature as project raster, feature mask as buffer area, output raster as clip, give a name clip. Okay, then save it you can give any valid name. Click on OK and wait for some time. So if I check now, what I have done here, I have clipped the portion from project raster file, which is this one. If I unmark it, here you can see that the clipped raster is here. You can change the color ramp by going here. Okay, here it is. Now, sometimes you may have some uh, null values in your raster. So, to solve that issue, you can go to raster calculator, right? Raster calculator, go to this option. Then, what you have to write, you have to write or click, double click on condition, then scroll down, double click on is null, then double click on what is the latest file, which is clipped, double click here, then write focal that is six, then give a first bracket, double click on this one, give a comma right and be a rectangle and give bracket right three comma three comma mean close the bracket give comma and then again double click on fit close the bracket so what i have written here i have written a condition which is something like that it will uh, take the mean value of the neighboring cells of three by three area if there is any missing cells in the terrain file uh, if i repeat again this condition means that it will take the mean value of three by three cells uh, neighboring cells area if your raster has any uh, missing value okay you can give any kind of condition here based on your study uh, i have just uh, showed here how you can give any kind of condition so just save it write final raster click save and click on okay I think uh, there is an error. Let's check. 
or write it again. I think there was an error in the previous condition. So I have written uh, again. Sometimes it can happen that you may miss some bracket, comma, or anything else. So let's see if uh, it is correct now. So I have given the name, select, okay. Now it is correct. Okay, so there's the file. If you change the color ramp, here you can see that this is the file. So there's the uh, basic process how you can uh, process the DEM file in RGS before using that in hydrologic or hydrodynamic model. But uh, you may have to use some other tools or uh, some other options, uh, or you may have some bathymetry file. So uh, based on your study uh, area or files, this process can vary, right? But uh, I have tried to demonstrate how you can use some basic tools in RGS to process the file. Okay. Thank you, everyone. I have. I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial.